LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. T plus 16 in the flight, Starship successfully lifted up from orbital launch pad at the starbase, carrying customer payload into targeted escape trajectory drop up orbit. The vehicle is preparing for the max Q or maximum dynamic pressure. This is the largest amount of stress exerted on the vehicle. On the next major step, we will have three events happening back to back. The first is the main engine cutoff or MECO, and then stage separation. Next Q. And that's the confirmation. After stage separation, we will continue into the second engine startup, number one, or SES-1. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Now the booster is preparing for the pushback burn while the second stage will continue to burn into its apogee. Stage one pushback startup. Stage one pushback shutdown. And that's the conclude of the pushback burn. Now the booster is Preparing for quick pin deployment. And as we see, quick pin is deployed. Quick pin deployment sequence is finished. Now the booster is reaching its apogee and ready to fall back into Earth. We will continue into the second stage. Today launch broke by our customer MES company, which using our launch surface program to launch their rover into Mars. Their rover called MRAAR or Mars Research and Analyzation Rover sent directly from Earth using our Starship Orbital Cargo variants. So after the vehicle reaching its escape trajectory into Mars, we will deploy the payload and return the orbital cargo into Earth and reuse them for the next missions. Nominal parking orbit. And Seco. Now, let's switch to the booster. Now, the booster is about to performing landing burn. Now, the vehicle actually already on the Earth atmosphere. Stage one landing burn, sorry. Landing burn has begun. Let me see, we will catch this booster. And got it. All right. 
we did it smoothly and we will continue into the river we will continue into the second stage this is the second engine start number two or SES2 to bring the pallet into Mars trajectory And Seiko. And second engine cutoff number two. Now we are close to the deployment of the pallet. Waiting for confirmation. deploy confirmed and that's it slowly drifting away from the starship now this is will be the end of the launch coverage for me so we will leave you with the progress of the pallet and if you're interested to using our launch surface just go ahead to space ASFS .orgfree.com slash launch you can book your our launch there thank you for joining in today's mission enjoy the rest mission and have a good day Thank you.